let us study about cat command cat command actually concatenates two or more files and print on the standard output if we look at the command number 1 in the example cat greater than f name 1 it means this command will actually read something from keyboard or standard input and will redirect to f name 1 so this f name 1 will actually contain whatever we type on screen using keyboard this is a cat command with redirection this single greater than symbol or operator is nothing but called as a redirection operator if we just give the cat command then whatever we type on screen it will be displayed again on screen let's see what exactly it works let's see how it works so on the terminal i will just clear the screen using command clear clear is the command using which we can clear the screen now if we just type cat and if we press enter so the command prompt the cursor is actually waiting for user to type something so we will type something so whatever we type everything is displayed again on screen once we press enter to come out of this prompt the shortcut is control d to make it more understandable i am opening on screen keyboard as soon as we type control d this particular prompt will be exited now if we type cat space greater than symbol space f name 1 now if we type something here and if we press enter now nothing is displayed on screen it means now cat command has redirected the output to this particular file called as f name 1 once we are done with the typing we press control d now if we do ls space hyphen l and if we press enter now you can see there is a one more file called as f name 1 which is actually nothing but the file created by us using this cat greater than f name 1 so using this command we have created this new file if we want to see the content of this particular file on screen the command is simply cat space f name 1 please make sure that you type every command and every file name in 
correct case because Unix is a case sensitive. Now you can see using this command cat fnem1 we can display the content of this particular file on screen and we get the prompt again. So this is cat with single redirection and cat without any redirection just to display the content. Using a single redirection we can create a file using simply cat and file name we can display the content. Now let's try one more command with double redirection and with the same file name. Now if I type this is a new line and once it is done I press control D. Now if we just do cat space f name 1 and if we press enter just observe what is happening. Now you can see this f name 1 has three lines. The first line is a jainconnect.org next line is a some junk text junk text and the third line is a this is a new line so using this double redirection we inform the unix system that this is append mode file redirection it means whatever we are typing on screen that should be redirected to the, to this particular file in append mode it means existing content of this particular file is intact. If we look at the command just above this double redirection command you can see the content of this fname one file are two lines genconnect.org and some junk te text. And if we do double redirection and we have added one more line and pressed control D now you can see there are three lines. So this way this is append mode. Now let's operate on this file again using this cat and simple re redirection fname1 and press enter, enter. Now if we just type small a and press enter and we type control d. Now if we type cat fname1 again let us see what happens. Now whatever commands we have executed in past you can retrieve those commands using the arrow keys. On your keyboard you will find arrow keys. Just press up arrow to see the list of commands and once the desired command you can see on prompt just press enter. Now I want this command to be executed so I will just press enter at this particular command. Now you can see the content of the file which was a three line content previously has got overwritten by this cat greater than fname1 and there is just one line with small a as content. So this way you might have observed the difference between cat simple greater than and cat with append mode using double greater than. The next command is cat with two file names. I have a file name one similarly I will create uh, another file called as a file name 2. 
I will just copy this using mouse I have selected right click copy go to the cursor right click paste and I will create a file called as fname2 now I will press enter and I will write the content as small b I will press enter again I will press control D now if I look at file a sorry file f name 1 it contains small a if I look at the content of file f name 2 it contains content as small b if I do cat space f name 1 space f name 2 and if I press enter now you can see it is showing two lines of text a and b so it means using this command cat fname1 space fname2 I can display the content of more than one file simultaneously one after another if I do the same thing with redirection to some third file called as f now if I press enter now nothing is displayed on screen now if I do ls space hyphen L if I press enter I can see there are three files one is F another one is fname1 third one is fname2 so this F has a byte count of 2 it means it its size is a 4 sorry 4 bytes fname1 is of 2 bytes fname2 is of 2 bytes so this way my f is containing the content of fname1 and fname2 so if I look at the content I can see that there are two lines in this particular file so this way I can redirect similarly I can do the append as well it will not overwrite this file existing content of this f4 file will be intact additionally two more files content will be added at the last at the end of this f4 file similarly we have seen this command as well cat fname1 to display the content so this way you can use cat command to display content to redirect standard output to particular file to app in append mode or in overwrite mode this is a cat command the syntax is cat with few options options are very rarely used if you want to know about the options just try to google it you will get lot of information and on your own you can learn the options Thank you.